Welcome to this lesson on the coordinate plane. Please be sure you have these notes in front of you so that we can begin our lesson. This lesson has two sets of I can statements. The first one says I can graph integers on the coordinate plane. And the second I can statement says I can identify the opposite location of an ordered pair on a coordinate plane. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these uh, vocabulary words, but I want you to compare them with things you would see out there in the real world. So for example, um, we're going to talk about a fake math city that we want to create. So when we compare our fake math city, let's talk about stuff that you would actually see out there in the real world. So streets that go from left to right. Here's a street. It's going left to right. Notice that it is a horizontal street. So here is the divider down the center. Okay. So let's compare that to our math city now on the right-hand side. In a math city, we have something called the x-axis, and that is the horizontal number line. Just like the streets that go left to right, our x-axis is the horizontal number line. So also in a real city, we would have streets that go up and down. So here's the street that goes up and down, and here's the divider. In our math city, we have something called the y-axis, and the y-axis is the vertical number line. So basically the number line that goes up and down, like our streets. In a real city, a city has streets that intersect. So here's a horizontal street, and eventually it intersects with a vertical street, which makes an intersection. And then you would have the dividers in the center. So that's what you would see in, a, in the real city. But in a math city, uh, we have something called the coordinate plane. And the coordinate plane is formed when the x-axis intersects the y-axis, just like the city has intersecting streets. The next vocabulary word is quadrant. The axes separate the coordinate plane into four separate regions. In the real world, every building and every place in the city has an address. In our math city, we have something called ordered pairs. An ordered pair is the location on the coordinate plane. And it's usually done in this format, x first comma y. Origin is where the x and the y axis intersect. The ordered pair for the origin is 0 comma 0. Finally, the last vocabulary word is to reflect. And reflect is the mirror image. So let's talk about some of the key concepts. If we look at our coordinate plane, we've got four regions. Our first region is called quadrant one. Notice we're going counterclockwise. Our second region is called quadrant two. If we continue going counterclockwise, our third region is called quadrant three. And finally, the last quadrant is called quadrant four. So if we look at the numbers along the x-axis and along the y-axis in quadrant 1, we notice that the x-axis has positive numbers. If you look at the numbers in the y-axis, notice that they also have positive numbers. So your ordered pairs would both be positive. Now let's take a look at quadrant 2. On quadrant 2, on the x-axis, all the numbers are negative. So in quadrant 2, our x-coordinates are negative. For quadrant 2, our y-coordinates are all positive. So the y-coordinates are positive. So our ordered pairs would be negative, comma, positive. Now let's take a look at quadrant 3. If we look at the x-coordinate, notice our x-coordinates are all negative. So that's going to be a negative number. And our y-coordinates are also all negatives. So we're going to write a negative sign. So our ordered pairs would be negative, comma, negative. Now let's look at quadrant 4. On our x-axis on quadrant 4 we have positive numbers right here. So our x-coordinates will be positive. And our y-coordinates for quadrant 4 are negative. So we're going to place a negative sign in here. So our ordered pairs would be positive, comma, negative. 
So for example, when it's asking us to graph the ordered pair 3, comma 2 and the ordered pair 2, comma 3 on the coordinate plane. So I'm going to go ahead and write x, comma y on the side so that we know which axis to start on. We're going to start on the x-axis first, which is the one that goes left to right. And then we're going to go to the y-axis, which is the one that goes up and down. So our first ordered pair says 3, comma 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my x-axis, and I'm going to go to the third interval. Here's 1, 2, 3. Now what I want to do is I want to go up two spaces. So my location of my ordered pairs will be at that location, which is 3, comma, 2. Now for the second ordered pair, I'm still going to use the x first, comma, y second. And then I'm going to go 2, 1, 2 on my x-axis. And I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3 on my y-axis. So the ordered pair that we have would be right here. And that is 2, comma, 3. So we know that both ordered pairs are located in quadrant 1. So for example 2, they're going to ask us to graph the ordered pair negative 3, comma, 2 and the ordered pair negative 2, positive 3 on the coordinate plane. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and graph negative 3, comma, 2 on the uh, coordinate plane. So we're going to use this little system, x, comma, y. And let's go ahead and work on the x-axis first. Let's go ahead and label the x-axis as the one that goes left to right, and the one that goes up and down is our y-axis. So our ordered pairs go from start at 0, and we're going to go to the left 3 spaces because the x-coordinate is negative 3. And then I want to jump up 2 spaces. So my ordered pair is in this location right here, and I'm going to call that negative 3, positive 2. Now I'm going to graph my second ordered pair, which is negative 2, comma 3. I'm going to use my x, comma, y standard. So on my x-axis, here's the x-axis, the y-axis goes up and down. I'm going to start at 0, 0, and it tells me to go to the negative 2 spots. Then it tells me to jump up three spots. Here's one, two, three. So my sp dot is going to go right here and I'm going to call that negative two comma three. Notice that both points are in quadrant quadrant number two. So for example number three it's asking me to graph the ordered pair which is negative three comma negative two and graph the ordered pair negative 2 comma negative 3. So I'm going to use the x first comma y second standard. Alright, so using the first ordered pair negative 3 comma negative 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the origin here and I'm going to go over to the left negative 3 spaces on my x-axis then I'm going to go down 2 spaces on my y-axis because it's negative 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my ordered pair at this location here, and I'm going to call that negative 3, comma, negative 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and graph the second ordered pair. I know that I have negative 2, comma, negative 3, so I'm going to start at my origin again. And I'm going to go to the left on my x-axis over two spots. Then I'm going to go down two spots, and I'm going to place my dot at this location right here. So the ordered pair of the blue point would be negative 2, comma, negative 3. And we know that both points are in quadrant number 3. Alright, so for example 4, it's asking us to graph the ordered pairs positive 3 and negative 2. Here's the first ordered pair. And the second ordered pair, they're asking us to graph positive 2 and negative 3. So when I first start this, I'm going to use the x comma y standard so that I know where to go. I'm going to call the one that goes left to right as my x-axis and the one that goes up and down is my y-axis. So the first point that I want to graph is 3 comma negative 2. 
I know that 3, starting at the origin, I'm going to go on my x-axis, 1, 2, 3 spots. Then I'm going to jump down 2 spots on the y-axis, and I'm going to place my dot right here. So let's go ahead and call that positive 3, comma, negative 2. Now we're going to go ahead and graph our second ordered pair. We're going to start at the origin at 0, 0. And on the x-axis, we're going to go over 2 spots to the right. And then I'm going to go down 3 spots on the y-axis. I'm going to place my point right here. So I'm going to call this positive 2, comma, negative 3. Notice that both points are in quadrant number 4. So go ahead and pause the video, complete these got it problems, and then play it back for some feedback. Now that you had some time to work on these problems, let's go ahead and look at the answers for letters A, B, C, and D. So for example 5, they're asking us to reflect the ordered pair 3, 2 along the x-axis. The first thing we should do is we should go ahead and plot the point 3, positive 2 on the x and y-axis. So starting with my origin, I'm going to jump three spaces on the x-axis. The x-axis is the one that goes left to right. Y-axis is the one that goes up and down. Then I'm going to jump two spaces up. Let's go ahead and place a dot in quadrant one. And that is the location of three comma two. Now the second part of the problem is asking us to reflect along the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like the x-axis, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to pretend like that is a mirror. So the blue point is going to be looking at the yellow mirror. And then we're going to ask ourselves, how many points, or how many spaces, is the blue point away from the x-axis? Well, here it is. Here's one, two. So I want to pretend like that x-axis, or the yellow line, is a mirror. If it's two spaces going up, then the new dot needs to reflect along the x-axis. Here's one space, two spaces going down. So I'm going to place my dot down here. So if I reflect along the x-axis, the reflection point for the ordered pair 3, 2 will be 3, negative 2. So let's go ahead and analyze the information that they're given us. We know that the first ordered pair they gave us was 3, comma, positive 2. And the second ordered pair that we have now is the reflection, which is 3, comma, negative 2. Notice when you reflect along the x-axis, the x-coordinates stayed the same. So our x-coordinates stay the same. And when we reflect over the x-axis, our y-coordinates become the opposite. So that's what happens when you reflect over the x-axis. For example 6, it's telling us to reflect negative 1, comma, negative 4 along the y-axis. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and graph negative 4, comma, negative 1 on the coordinate plane. So negative 4, comma, negative 1, if I start at my origin, jump one spot on the x-axis. So the x-axis is going to be my left to right number line, and my y-axis will be the number line that goes up and down. So I know that uh, negative 1, comma, negative 4 will be down here. So that's the first part is to graph it. Now we need to reflect along the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. I'm going to go ahead and use a highlighter and indicate that this axis will be my mirror. And I want to look in the mirror and I see that my point is one spot away from the y-axis. So if I want to reflect on that, the y-axis, I want to make sure that I'm going to move one spot to the other side of the mirror. So this would be the reflection. And that point is the reflection. And that ordered pair would be 1, comma, 
negative 4. So let's go ahead and analyze the information that we've discovered. Our original problem was the ordered pair negative 1, comma, negative 4. After doing the reflection, our new ordered pair was 1, comma, negative 4. If we look at our y-coordinates, after reflecting on the y-axis, notice that our y-coordinates are the same. If you look at our x-coordinates, the x-coordinates right here are opposites. So the y-coordinates stayed the same, and the x-coordinates are opposites when you reflect on the y-axis. So pause the video, complete the got it problems, and then play it back for some feedback. So now that we've completed the lesson, go ahead and self-rate yourself, and let us know how you feel. If there's any part of this video that you don't understand, please go back and watch it again. And also come back to class with some questions so that we can discuss it.